Go ball. Uh, so we made it. We out here. Chase! Dude, get out of my face. Yeah, how cool. Get out of my face. That's straight ice. Smooth. <laughs> All right, that should be a good enough thumbnail. I got the keys, keys, keys. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I want to just talk about my goals um, and I want you to tell me your goals down below or maybe just email me or maybe tweet me or maybe hit me on Instagram if you don't really want your goals to be like public you know if you want them to be private and between us you can DM me but otherwise just drop your goals down below but since being back you know it's gonna save me so much money man you guys have seen the previous videos what I was paying for my apartment just the expenses in LA but there's a lot of opportunity there so I'm never bashing LA I loved it so just always remember that but my next few goals are to really push out content I really didn't even want to pick up the camera right now because I'm busy doing something and you know I thought to myself I've been watching a lot of Gary Vee personally, that's who I, I watch a lot, and you know, maybe the content may seem boring to me, but it might be useful to you depending on where you are in your life. As you guys know, I'm regular, I'm super normal, I live wholesomely, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm at my mom's house, I'll, I'll admit it, I'm living right, I'm at my mom's house right now, I just moved out of my apartment into my mom's house, and my goals for the next few months are to find a dope crib, I don't know whether that's gonna be a house or an apartment, I really wanna be in an apartment just cause I'm not personally ready to buy a house, I don't care about just throwing money out the window as far as living because a house is a huge investment right now and it's just something that I'm not really interested in at the time because I have so many different business endeavors that I'm working on. That is number one goal is to find a nice place and I'm in no rush at all. I wanna find a place that I love, that I really vibe with. And number two, I wanna get a Range Rover Sport. And I know as crazy as that sounds, but I'm actually going to be giving my car to my mom. Shh, it's a secret. That's my next goal. So. These next two months, I'm really gonna be grinding. It might even just be here. It doesn't matter what it takes. If I have to save money living here, if I have to find a place, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna grind until I get both of those done. Those are my priorities right now. Obviously, YouTube is my job, so that doesn't even count as a priority. It's a must. So yeah, I wanted to share those with you. Man, this move has been crazy. I'm just exhausted mentally. But, you know, I gotta get stuff done, man. Ain't no time to sit around and chillax. I'm trying to get stuff done. Tons of boxes. I'm actually breaking all these boxes down. I'm going to put a bunch of sneakers online. I'm going to have a bunch of steel. So if you guys are looking for that, just tons of stuff. And I'm going to build this area into an office. My mom also has a cosmetology beauty business. If your girl is interested, you know what I'm saying? Um, working on that. I'll probably be part owner of this too. I'll, this is another project for me. And then this, ooh, this is... This is embarrassing to show you guys. This is a disaster, but this was all the Sneaker Life inventory. All this stuff is gonna be going on sale. I need to move it. And I'm gonna drop tees to 10 to $5. So any little, if you rock with me, just buy a tee and you'll like it, man. It's good quality and my loss, your gain, but also I love the fact that you're able to wear it. But I need to turn this entire room into an office. That's my goal. So I just wanted to show you guys behind the scenes of what it takes to really obtain your goals. I think a, a lot of people think like, Maybe I'm like some spoiled rich kid or some 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 crazy like that. Which, bro, I work for every cent, every dollar, every sneaker that I own. I've worked extremely hard, and I think I really need to break down the process to you guys and how it works. So pretty simple. Uh, that's pretty. That's all this vlog will be is just kind of what I'm doing today and what it takes. It's not all glitz and glamour, you know. I thought about, oh, uh, you know what? I'll just kind of put out vlogs every once in a while. But I'm like, no, I should show you guys the hustle up into. The goals, you know what I'm saying? I think that's a story itself. I told you what I want, now I'm gonna do everything it takes to achieve that and you guys get to watch me grind up to that point rather than just assuming, oh wow, cool. Like, let's say I got a Range Rover or when I got my Mercedes, everybody's like, oh cool, yeah, he did YouTube, cool, good for him. But you didn't really see the grind behind it, you know what I'm saying? So that's what this is. So then when I do make that cool car video or I do make that dope apartment video, you guys can be like, damn, I was watching him like grind for it. I saw what it took. So then you guys can do the same. You know, any goal you have, you can obtain, especially in this day and age. It doesn't matter how old you are. You just got to get over those limits. And you know, let me tell you guys this. When I was in LA, the biggest thing that happened to me is I was so worried around me about what wasn't happening that I forgot to focus on what is happening. You know, we spend too much time coming up with all these excuses when in reality, 
just do your best and forget the rest. Like that's all it takes. And it takes time. Don't expect all this to just come. Maybe you're watching me and you're like, wow, I wanna be a YouTuber. This is just a metaphor. Oh, I wanna be a YouTuber. And then you upload five videos that get 50 views and you're already discouraged. No, it takes time, man. It took me like four or five years. I've been doing two, I've been doing YouTube since 2009. As you may know, I'm one of the guys from the Subway commercial. I've lost tons of pounds eating Subway over the years. But to tell you, McDonald's is terrible for you. I had multiple channels. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mike Mitchell. Hey, cutie. The show's But a sneaker life is what really popped for me, you know. And then I created this channel and it popped off for a while. We're <laughs> <laughs> right there. Oh, Doug. Who's doing this? That's yes. That's David. Oh. <laughs> gang, gang. Are you serious? Okay, let's get it. I'm still not officially there. I'm up, I'm up. There, I'm there we go. We made it. We made it. Hold on. We so gotta wait kidding. at least five seconds. One. Is it even that quick? It's official. Three. It's good. It's good. We're Mike, official. Lock your phone before it goes back. Today is, is a great day, man. I finally hit 100K. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it, to be honest. But now we're gonna celebrate and have some sushi, so stay tuned for the Food Network. Yay! And then I kind of just went ghost, and so did my viewers. So it was kind of on me. Definitely on me. It doesn't matter. I'm like so blessed to be in the position that I'm in and I always forget that. So before you watch any of your other favorite YouTubers or whoever you look up to and get down on yourself, appreciate what you do have right now because what they have, you can have too. You just gotta work for it. And excuse your boy, I'm gonna be looking dusty for the next few videos because honestly, when it comes to like working, I'll wear the same pair of clothes for like five days in a row. I don't care. I ain't got nobody impressed. I'm just trying to get work done. But when I'm on camera, you know, I'll put a quick little fit on for the one time. You know what I'm saying? But let me get back to work. Still going at it. A little, a little more progress. Wicked chilly out right now, guys. You guys always ask me about what I do with the original boxes. Even in my mom's garage, you know, which is how we do. How long does this thing go? Just keep going. Yo, so we got another U-Haul, bro. This is just like non-stop. Go through all these because I have the OG box for everything, which to me, during resale, is very important. So these are all shoe boxes. Just to show you, way too many shoes, man. I have so many shoes. I sell all these shoes, I'm out of student debt. So, it's a good thing. I invested all my money in sneakers. It really isn't too bad. Bring it on in. The shoe boxes honestly should have went last, but. This is kind of sus. Of course, we're moving in the middle of a ice storm right now. There's just ice everywhere. That's why you guys saw me doing that whole thing. But this is probably about like that thick. And that's just on your window. Wow. Man, it has been a long day. We've just been nonstop trying to turn this into the office and, you know, get this stuff going. I've decided what I'm going to do, guys. Well, for St. Michael and for Sneaker Life, I'm going to be doing mystery boxes. I want you guys to help me out. Should I do a $50 box, a $75 box, and a $100 box, and it'll come with multiple items, or should I just do a $100 box? I'm still trying to decide that. What would you guys like? It'll come with stuff like 
hoodies. It'll, it'll be pretty dope. It's not going to be like some scam bull. It's going to be like you're going to get one hoodie, two hoodies, maybe even three hoodies. Um, you'll get like t-shirts, a bunch of t-shirts. You can get shorts, jerseys, wristbands. There's going to be so much basketballs. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty dope. So that's my idea. The reason I'm doing that is I'm just trying to clear out all my inventory and just kind of move to the next type of merchandise. I just really need to get rid of this stuff because it's all from like last year, but it's nice. It's very good quality, trust me. I was selling hoodies for like $60. So imagine paying a hundred and getting like three hoodies, you know? It's a win-win for both of us, which I love. I have so many of these basketballs. I know people want them, you know? Get them buckets. But let me know what you guys think about that. Then we got Mary Sheffin. Ooh, taco salad for the one time. Yeah. You chefing? No. I ain't. Chef Mare? Yes. What's this next ingredients? What do you got over here? Just a gallon. <laughs> a gallon of. Is that a creme? Boom. 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 Yeah. Come over here, mother. Your house is a disaster because of me. The, the people love you. Oh, that's all hair? Gross. Bro, are you stressed or what? He don't really like Chloe at all. She's like that annoying little sister, you know, that the family adopted. Oh, my God. You, need, you want me to get the vacuum? You got anything to say to the fans? They love you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We about to enjoy this dinner. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know about that mystery box. I'll see you guys in the next one. You got anything to say? Taco salad. You're allow me to introduce myself. Who knows what dastardly crime might perpetrate next? He's a very clever arch criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim. I don't know. I don't mean